Hi guys, uh, just want to do a quick vlog before bed. Though knowing me, it probably wouldn't be very quick, or won't be very quick, I should say. Um, a friend of mine, she lives about seven miles away, came over today for two reasons. One, to chat about, um, or to chat in person about converting uh, this bike here into a tricycle, which can be done. I've seen videos from someone in America uh, on YouTube who's um, who do their own sort of actual conversions for bikes, um, but I've never seen anyone do it over here, at least not in the area where we live anyway. So. I have got a few ideas. I'm still struggling with um, the axle because uh, whatever frame I decide to make for the back there, we're going to have to put bearings on the axle where it mounts to the frame just to help support. And I have actually got an idea for that if they do them small enough. Again, I've got to research, you know, basically what parts are available and perhaps look on YouTube a bit more just to see if I can see how people on there have built the axles and whatnot. That doesn't look too complicated to do to be honest. I suppose if I sat you know and started early in the morning we could probably knock one up by the afternoon maybe a couple of days with a few hours working on it each day something like that. But, uh, as long as I stay within the limits I'll be fine. <laughs> and that's the only thing I've got to watch. I've got to stay within the um, working hour limit and what I can earn a week limit, unfortunately. But there we go. But then again, if this really took off, I can then sign off and work for as long as I want. But um, we'll see. Anyway, um, Cat's got a Facebook page, Cats, Trikes and Reliance Salvage. So if you search that on Facebook you should find it. Um, if you like Reliant Robins and the idea of tricycles, not just pedal trikes, um, I think she's got a few things um, where you can convert Reliant Robins to a trike. So she's absolutely right. If you get Reliant Robin, you've basically got the trike chassis there. All you'd have to do is put your own frame on it or something. Or part of the car or whatever you want to do. Because you've already got your three wheels there. <laughs> so, yeah, it's actually quite a smart idea if you just want to do a, a simple little trike. <clears throat> anyway, um, she bought this to me as well. There's no mine. And it's the first ever Alienware laptop I've ever had. Um, I swapped it for the electric scooter I, I was uh, going to do up. But I never got to. <laughs> um, and this has been a... I've been working on this all night. That's why nearly 1.30 in the morning I'm actually still in the lounge and not laying in bed watching TV. <laughs> Pardon me, I've got a bit of wind. So I've got a bit of a heartburn, a bit of... I might taste stomach acid in my bloody mouth, and that tastes freaking horrible. I have had an antacid <laughs> to try and get rid of it. I think I need to chew on another one. Anyway, um, I've researched the specs on this, and apparently they did a version of this that had Windows Vista. I bet that ran like shit, though, because this runs DDR memory. Not DDR2 or 3 or anything like that. And I think the processor is only a 2 gigahertz single core. I didn't really look at the other information when I looked at the system on this. But um, it came with 2 gigabytes of RAM, and I've already nicked one of the 1 gigabyte sticks to put in my... Uh, my compact Evo over there 
to max the um, memory out on that. That's now got one gigabyte of memory. That is the max it can uh, take. And that's made a hell of a lot of difference. I had um, 512 megs on it, which I upgraded it to the first time, because when I got it, it only had 256 megs. So I stuck two 256 meg sticks in it, because I, I haven't got any 512 meg sticks. In fact, I've got very few um, DDR memory sticks for laptops. I really need to get on eBay at some point and uh, perhaps invest in a stock of them. So, I could actually upgrade this to another gigabyte, if I want to. Anyway, um, the hard drive that came with it, 160 gigabyte Samsung, didn't want to play ball at all. So I took that out and I put my own 60 gig in there. Windows XP installed, but the graphics were stuck on for colour. For bloody colour. And um, I tried to install the video driver when I found them on the, online on the actual Alienware website and it kept blue screen on me every time it would blue screen. So I gave up in the end. And I took that hard drive out and I put 160 gig hard drive in there um, reinstalled XP, came up with the same problem, you know, four color graphics, looked bloody horrible. So I ran, before I installed anything else, because I'd already installed all the audio and whatnot before I installed video on the last, on the previous hard drive, um, and it blue screened on me. So I thought, I'll turn it off and I'll try it once more to see what happens. So I turned it off by the button, turned it back on, ran the um, video driver installer again, and it installed it. And it's actually working perfectly now. Well, I say it's working perfectly. I've got a keyboard issue. It's not a huge issue. But um, one of these keys, at least one of these keys is faulty. Because for some reason... You know, you get that funny noise when a key, when you hold a key down. You get that da -da 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 sort of noise. That's what this does when you open a window. So, although I did get it to stop it when I am um, tapped on the enter key. Um, so I don't know. Maybe the enter key is a bit. Eh. Perhaps I should just pop it off <laughs> and just use that one. Got the little one down there. Oh, this one has got something quite unique. Well, it's unique to me because I've never seen it before. I'll just turn this around. I don't know if you can see it in this light. But, uh... No, you can't. Let me just get the... No, you can. There's actually two caddies on here, underneath here. One underneath the PCI slot here. That's one. There's another one here underneath the um, SD memory card slot. They are both hard drive caddies. So this can actually use two hard drives. I can install the second one in here. The main one is in here. Second one is in here. And they're SATA hard drives. Hence why I've got the pile of them there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've actually got it working. Uh, some dust and stuff in these sockets. Uh, I should be going over to Mum's tomorrow, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this with me, and I'm going to take it over to the workshop, and I'm going to take the air compressor to it. There's a lot of takes in there, isn't there? <laughs> and just blow out all these and all that, and just um, give it a good clean out, and I'll even run it over the keyboard, just in case there's a bit of... Um, I don't know, conductive dirt underneath some of the keys that's causing the problem. But, um, it's usable. And a thought crossed my mind as well. If I stick in a second 160 gigabyte hard drive, which I've got 
sitting over there. I could actually use that as a gaming computer for the um, games. But from what I've seen, I think that's what that was initially designed for. Um, although it's only got a 2 gigahertz processor, but I don't know if that's dual core. Part of me is pretty certain it isn't. But I tell you what, there's a fair bit of weight to this. So what have we got on the outside? On this side we've got volume control. Uh, headphones in, mic in, or headphones, I should say and mic, headphones aren't in, are they? Then we've got surround sound there, we've got center, surround and front. Then we've got optical and a USB port which I didn't know was actually there till now. <laughs> um, on the rear, we've got audio in, coaxial, uh, S-video, or S-something or other. Hang on. That's got an S there as well. Well, that's got an S and an R. I think that's either in or out, that one. Um, then we've got modem power, another USB port, that other S thing, DVI out, VGA out, so you can connect it to an external monitor. Hey, round we go. On this side we've got, I think that's firewire, micro firewire or something, two USB ports and Ethernet. Oh, and the SD slot, for the SD card, and your PCI, whatever it is, slot. But it is pretty heavy. It's got a bit of a, pardon me, um, loose charger connection, but it's not too bad. It's It really only affects it if you nudge the lead. But uh, the chances are this would sit here. But this would actually save me having to construct um, a PC, a desktop PC. I still could, just for the... Well, just because I can. <laughs> but uh, I'd have a portable one as well. Because uh, this is... Uh, I'd actually like it. I do actually like it. The front on the CD drive keep falling off, so I may dab some um, super glue on the tabs. It's got a camera. And on the Alienware website, you can get all the drivers for that, all the LAN drivers, all the audio drivers which um, I was actually quite surprised about, because it's not a very modern laptop, is it? It would run Windows 7, to be honest. If I wanted to, I could have installed it. And uh, I do believe they actually have drivers for it as well. But uh, I figured that would be too slow. And like I said, I wanted something that can actually run those games. Something a bit retro, so I put it back to Windows XP. Because I've already got a Windows 7 laptop anyway, it's in the bedroom. Oh yeah, and I turned it on. Don't need to use it now. <laughs> turned it on because I was going to retire to the bedroom and uh, I never did. <laughs> Mum's not online. My friends aren't online now, they've all gone to bed, so I can just go through there and turn it off. <laughs> oh. but, uh, yeah, that thing is a heck of a lot faster now. Should we uh, give it a boot? I'll just give it a boot up. The may boot up the um, Alienware as well. I'll just plug it in. Oh, I've got to plug all the adapter in though. Do that. I won't do that right now. I'll do that in another video. I'm getting tired as well. My eyes are sort of half closing now. Uh, uh, uh. Oh. Anyway. How's the clock stage set? That's going to be interesting. It has. It's a little bit slow, but it has. Well, there we go. Boot and connected to the web. 
Is it connected to it? Yes, it is. It's actually connecting to Mon now. Open control panel. Just think about it. There we go. Didn't get the little torch thing that usually flash, which happens if you haven't got a lot of memory. I've noticed. Get on system. Ooh. It's only a um, 1.5 gigahertz processor. Well, I've got it written on here as a 1500 megahertz, which is just the same, and a gigabyte of RAM. But, considering I only use this for really like web surfing, just to access the Lego websites, basically, that's all it's here for. I don't really need um, a super duper processor because um, it may also just get used as a spare laptop as well. Should I hope it doesn't? The one in the bedroom pack up on me. Turn this one off now. Here we go. You look like you've just woken up. <laughs> I know you don't need feeding because I fed you about an hour ago. You got quite a dishful. Yeah, that, that, I think that would run those games up here fine. It's just hard drive space so I'd be worried about, which is why I'd want to stick another one of those 160 gigabyte drives on there. Obviously nowadays, with how technology has uh, progressed, and the size of the hard drives you can get now, then you don't really need the two hard drive feature. Not on a laptop, anyway. You don't really need a laptop that large, either. Um, still got a 500 gig drive I need to whack in the desktop. You can be asked. <laughs> That is just a problem, when I can be a heart. Uh, yeah, are they talking about on TV? I haven't got a clue what's on TV now. Family Guy was on. The cat has flattened my tinsel. I'm thinking I might get some PVC tape and put down the side of that fucking window. <sighs> the window seals have gone on some of the windows so that when the wind blows, as it is tonight, it does nothing but whistle. Especially around that bedroom window, and I ain't putting up with that above my bloody head. So, I might remember where I've put it. Is it in here? You got two rolls. We got one black and one red. Ah, red will do. I'll just stick that down the sides or around the edge of the. It's the big window that does it. Out of the two. Usually these lounge windows do it, but they aren't doing it at the moment. It's usually that one. That one on this end will whistle. But uh, I guess the wind is not quite blowing in the right direction. Well, that bedroom one's always been a pain in the ass. But uh, I guess these windows have been in here for so long now, um, the seals are gone. But, not my responsibility. That is the responsibility of uh, Victory Housing, my landlord. Right. Well, I'm going to turn the camera off, get this window taped up. Shut that as well. Yeah, I'm getting tired because my mind is drifting like hell at the moment, so... Thanks a lot for watching. Hey look, you can see my reflection in the window. <laughs>
Yeah, I've got hot, so I took the shirt off. Now I'm getting cold. But, uh, there's no point to put the shirt back on, because I'm going to bed, and I don't sleep with shirts on. I sleep with just me boxers. I'm one of them types of people that sleep in me undies. Anyway, I'm going to disappear, because that was more information than you really needed to know. <laughs> um, so I'm going to say good night, because I'm now going to bed. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll talk to you again in the next video. Bye.